In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing, setting up, and doing our first press with the X-Tool Smart Heat Press all in one kit. Huge thank you to X-Tool for sending over this smart heat press. Honestly, this press is, it's revolutionary. Besides the fact that it's a smart press with wireless capabilities, it also comes with a mini press. Now this heat press comes in three different kits. This is the all-in-one kit, and right now it's going for $284.99. Now before we do go ahead and get started unboxing, if you're interested in this heat press and you wanna check it out, just go ahead and check out the description down below. The link to it will be there. Quick note, it is an affiliate link, so if you click on it and make a purchase, I'll get a small commission. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the unboxing. All right, so first things first, this is the first thing that you're gonna get. And this is a smart press mat. So the all-in-one kit actually comes with a second heat press, which is their mini press. Now, I know you've seen some mini presses before, but this one's actually way better. You'll see why in a little bit. Trust me, this is, J just stay tuned. All right, so this is the first part of the heat press. Yes, there is a little bit of assembly we have to do, but it's totally okay. So this is the smart press platform. Here we have what appears to be the two legs of our little instruction manual. And obviously who needs that? We have this thing. We got all the tools that we need. This is actually very nice. Like the, the quality on this is really, really good. It's made out of pure metal. The knob is very smooth. This is what adjusts the pressure. And overall it's, it's feeling like a very high quality press. And we have the platform, the smart press platform, part two. All right, now this is the actual smart press. All right, I guess we got another box within the box. power cord now this is probably the coolest part this is how you control the heat press this is how you can control the time and the temperature best part this little thing is wireless and it even controls the temperature on the mini press now this is the actual press. This is the platen. Check this out. Now the reason this is separate is because you can actually use this by itself. More instructions? <laughs> I used to work IT. I could figure this out on my own. And the base. No, that's not it. All right, maybe, maybe we should check out the manual. All right, first, we got our feet, our M5 12 millimeters, and screw it on. There you go. We take our M5 14 millimeters and our control arm and just go ahead and stick this bad boy in here. We're gonna screw it in from the bottom. Then we take our actual press and pop this little bad boy out and replace it with the thing that I didn't know what it was for. Just goes right there. And for this you use your M4 16 millimeters. Okay. 
Now we plug our power cord to the back right there. Which by the way, the press itself in the back, it has three different slots or three different ports. It has the power port, a USB port, and this other port right here, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with this one right here. Now we got our mat. And just go ahead and put it right there. So when I was unboxing, I totally missed these two pieces. When you're unboxing your press, make sure you dig deep and you look in this one in particular because that's where you're gonna have your USB cable and your receiver or the Bluetooth transmitter. This little piece right here is what's gonna go in that slot right there. And this is gonna allow the press to communicate wirelessly with the temperature and time control. Now what the USB cable does is simply just charge this. So this is 100% wireless and you don't need to connect it to the press. So you can have this right next to you if you need it for easy access. Now this on the back, it has the charging port along with the power slide and the Celsius or Fahrenheit settings. Now attaching the press to the actual base or the mount, it's super easy. All you have to do is slide it in. All right, so we just went ahead and plugged it in and you heard that little beep. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and slide this little slider over here to the on button, to the on section, and we're gonna get our lights. Everything's gonna turn on. Now, now you need to connect this to the dongle. So doing so is super easy. All you have to do is hold down this little circle down here. And then you're gonna see that little linking start flashing, that little linking icon. Also behind the dongle, there's a little button you have to press as well. After a second or two, it's gonna go ahead and stay solid. The little icon will stay solid. And that means it's fully paired. It's successfully paired and you're ready to start using the heat press. So this is your temperature control module. Here, all you need to do is simply just turn this knob and you can set the temperature and this one for the time. One thing I will say about this right now is that this is very, very smooth. The way these knobs turn, it actually feels good. Unlike a few other presses that I've tried where the little turning knob, it, it, it just feels, it feels cheap, it feels like plastic. This, the entire thing is high quality, everything feels very nice. It's very high quality plastic as well. The feel is very good. The buttons were clicking very good as well. Nothing of this press so far feels cheap in the least. So for now, let's just go ahead and set this to 325 so that way we can see how long it takes to get up to temperature. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, the power switch is actually right in the back, it's back here. So you have to press that to turn it on, and you'll see that the light down here turns on. Right now it's yellow, I don't know if you can really see that because the lights are kind of bright. There you go. So here you can see that it's yellow, and let's officially start the countdown. Alright, to reach 325 degrees Fahrenheit, it took 2 minutes and 26 seconds. That is insanely fast. Let's see how long it takes to get to 400. So we're gonna set it over to 400 and start. The light on the press turned back to orange. That beep means we did it. Three minutes and 42 seconds or about three minutes and 40 seconds. That's very, very impressive. This thing heats up really quick. Now, don't think that I forgot about our little mini friend over here. So let's go ahead and unbox this one, shall we? This is a very simple one, it's pretty quick. What you're gonna get is the base, some instructions, and I'm just kidding, I actually need those, and the press itself. Now, this press is actually pretty big. For a mini press, it has a pretty good size to it. Let's compare it to the Cricut mini press, or the Cricut easy press. I don't know, mini press, easy press. No, it's the mini press. I'm pretty sure this is the mini press. Now, check out the size difference. So right off the bat, you can see that the X-Tool mini press is so much bigger than the Cricut one. Now, it's not so much bigger that you're like, it's not a mini press anymore. No, this is still a mini press and it's, it's got some good size to it. This could actually fill up probably the entire neck tag. So instead of having to use one of these and kind of use it like an iron, you can just simply put this one right on top and you're good. Of course, there's a lot of other applications that you can use this with, but let's go ahead and set this up. Now for this, what you gotta do is 
pop open the little hood right here. Quick note about this press. If you don't have the entire heat press with the smart control on it, then you're not gonna be able to use the wireless functions because this comes by itself. So in order to use the wireless functionality for the mini press, you're also gonna have to have the Xtool smart press. But don't worry because if you don't have one and you still wanna check this out because of, its, because of its nice size, then you have the option right here to just go ahead and turn it on. So you can turn it on by simply pressing this button right here, it turns orange, and then to change the settings, all you have to do is press it one and two times because it's gonna have three presets. But if you do have the smart press, then you can just go ahead and take the dongle, stick it right in there, and you're good to go. Now, instead of only having three presets, you can set it to whatever temperature you need it to be. All right, enough talking, let's just go ahead and do a quick test press. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to 325 because we're gonna do a DTF print. Now, a couple notes about the temperature control module. So this actually has four different presets. It has A, B, C, and D, and then it has your own custom one. So in total, you have five different options. I didn't realize that my microphone battery had died and the microphone stopped working. So here, what I'm doing is simply just adjusting the pressure with the pressure knob in the back to be able to raise the platen a little bit and fit the pressing mat underneath. Then just giving it a little test to see how it feels just a little bit more and good to go. All right, so let's just go ahead and move over the platen. Let's move it to the side. Let's lay down our shirt. Give it a quick pre-press so that way we can release all of the moisture. Now, this is something very important that you need to take note of. And that is that when you close the platen, the timer is not going to automatically start. What you need to do is just press this little button right here and then the timer starts. You can also press it to reset it. All right, so now let's just go ahead and lay down our transfer. Make sure it's aligned within the square. It's a pretty big transfer, so I had to get it right in the center, right in the middle. And then let's go ahead and press. Start the timer. Once it's done pressing, I simply just have to remove the shirt because this is a cold peel DTF. And it's pretty much all there is to it. Once I go ahead and peel the transfer, we have our finished product. Now, one important thing to note about this press is the size. So the Xtool Smart Heat Press is actually 12 by 10 inches. So it's pretty small, it's compact, but don't let that scare you away because honestly, this press, it can get the job done. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you wanna check out the Xtool Heat Press, then just go ahead and check out the link down in the description below. If you click on it and make a purchase, it really, really helps me out and it helps the channel out a ton. So if you do use that link, huge thank you, I really appreciate it. With that being said, let me know what your thoughts are on this press down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and whether or not it's something that you think you could use. What do you think of the wireless functionalities on it? Let me know down in the comments below. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with Neko Prince and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.